All right, it's time for the 4th of July update. Today is July 2nd. It's the 4th of July weekend, um, Sunday, July 2nd. Uh, Jackson's gone with his dad for four or five days. He's got a pool. Jackson left with a grin on his face, says, Gramps, I'll be in the pool. So uh, he's having fun. But here, I want to give you an update on where we're at with the pumpkin plant. All right, please join yeah, us. Yeah, the pumpkin is 14 days old today. All right. You know, this is for, I have this hen outside the gate, just to warn any people that come walking in. But yeah, I'm real happy with the shape of the pumpkin. Uh, we're looking good. I'm not real thrilled about the plant. I'm nitrogen bloated. Uh, first tissue test, uh, June 5th, was 21,000. Now we're down, I did another tissue test, got the results four or five days ago, and now we're down to 12,000. All right, lots of nitrogen and uh, had a lot of problems with leaf damage. A lot of leaf damage um, right there. This, these leaves are starting to look decent. I do think that the smoke, the smoke in the sky, Michigan's pretty bad. I believe that had something to do with it because I lost a lot of leaves and new growth. The new growth was hindered. And uh, I actually, I see that brown spot there. I believe that's from the manganese deficiency I've been occurring which I know my manganese was still low on the second test, and sulfur. But I have now foliar sprain manganese sulfate. Um, Josiah Brandt gave me some tips. I talked to Ron Wallace, talked to Chris Kent. Now this growth is looking decent, but I've had to pinch off some vines. I pinched off this secondary. It was like the cobra was turned backwards. It's funky growth. Look at the curled back secondary and these vines. I don't know if this is from the smoke, something going on in my soil. I don't like it. That's to the right of my pumpkin. I was supposed to go out and form my new pitchfork, so that's not good. Now over here, <clears throat> basically the main vine, I'm gonna pitchfork the main vine. It looks better, but it's like, wow. What have I done? Or what is this smoke doing to my plants? That's now cleared up today. Praise the Lord. Video and show you what I'm talking about as far as, as, far as scorch goes. So um, I'm done rototilling. This is the last rototill. I did it today and I will not go farther in. And right there, you can't rototill in there. At least I won't. I don't want to chop up my root system. I come over here. I won't go any farther than that. This is my secondary, which I'm calling my main vine. And it's going to fork out, and I'm going to pitch fork it forward and backwards to fill in those other, those are cobras. You might have saw my video short. Check out my short where I had these really crazy looking cobras. Secondary vines. Bubba does. Jack and Bubba got secondaries. Check out these monsters. These are secondary vines. Birdman said that they're big and they're doing the cobra. And look at the little punky. Can anybody say, too many nutrients, Bubba, back off. Terminated this secondary. All right, this is the size of my secondaries. Got fertilizer that were shooting straight up in the sky. And I cut them off at the wall. I cut a couple off back here. We also have, uh, I hear the thunder. And it's not from down under. It's from down up there. Anyways, here we go. Here's new. Here's what's going to take, take over. I had to cut off some of those cobras. They was just ugly. So I'm letting a new vine grow. It's been a struggle, baby. These, this plant is not pretty. But the pumpkin is growing really, really well on day 14. So I do believe that I have a possible chance of keeping the pumpkin trucking until I grow out some new growth to take its place. And uh, Chris Kent was just telling me that the Peytons were talking about they're still growing before and after the fruit. And they believe that you need the new half of the plant to take over for the old half of the plant that gets exhausted. I'm going to move up here. I'm going to give you a view of the garden farther back here. I, I'm rototilling that all in. It's beautiful vine bearing soil. I bury with my soil. And, uh, but anyways, we're, we're kind of rough shape. 
but I'm real happy with the pumpkin. And I think we still got a shot at a 2,000 pounder. That's my goal, to hit 2,000 pounds this year. So if you have any questions, post them below. I just wanted to give you a little update. Time to put the rototiller away. Typically by July 4th weekend, my rototiller gets put away. It don't come out again. There's my little watermelons. The watermelons, that's the uh, 341 vial. Very small watermelon, ridiculously small. We have not had too many warm nights up until just recently. Here's Jackson's carrot. Jackson's smoking me on the carrots. He's, he's got this big, beautiful top, and you can see actually his carrot is actually cracking the soil here. Beautiful carrot. There's my little, my little carrot. We picked him out in advance, and Jackson got the lucky pick. So stay tuned. We'll see later in the year who is going to win the big carrot contest. All right. We'll have Jackson back next weekend. All right. Post any questions below. Any comments. And uh, wish us luck. We're hanging in there. Here comes some more rain. You can see the rain off there. And some of that might be smoke from Canada. We've had a ton of smoke. And I do believe it's hindering our leaves. I've seen somebody post in Wisconsin that they believe that the smoke was hindering their leaves. I've seen leaf damage I've never seen in my life. It, it must be from the fires. Y'all don't mind. I'm going to fill in the rest of the video with just some highlights and clips. And you, you might get some stuff you might want to see. You got one scene with the top on. Right now the top was off. Now the top's back on. So check it out. Or if you want, hey, check out now. You don't have to watch the rest of the video. I just thought I'd fill in uh, the last few minutes of the video. All right. Thanks for joining roots. today. Bubba's got roots. Pulling out my moisture meter. Yes, we got roots, baby. Blame it all on my roots. She showed up in boots. More roots. Look at the roots, baby. Look at the roots. We got roots. More roots. There's roots. Looking like spaghetti laying on the soil. We got roots. More roots. There's my crown. Or some call it the stump. Look at the roots. Look at the crown. Peace, baby, peace. Tell me if I've got the legs spread far enough apart. All right, what do you think? There's my secondary. There's my secondary coming off the pumpkin stem. And there's the so-called main vine. What do you think, boss? Have I got it dialed in? My latest gardening gadget. I picked up this uh, elephant rectal thermometer at the Detroit Zoo. They was having a sale at the gift shop. So I picked me one up. We're checking the water temperature today. All right, we can set that right in there. This is for your large applications. If you're going to have a 100-gallon collapsible rain barrel, you've got to have the thermometer to go with it. All right, checking the temperature. If you don't want to shock the Maverick giant pumpkin plant with a cold bath of water, warming the water for my baby Maverick giant pumpkin 2,560 pound United States record. Join us and keep it a secret home and garden. Keep it a secret, but go tell a friend. Bubba's got the latest news on where to pick up the elephant thermometers.